Hey guys, how we doing? Morning everybody. Joe here. Gavin. Uh, yeah, so I think the last episode of The West Wing really highlighted how, um, how much of a humanitarian Bartlett really is. Yeah, there were, there, it was a, basically a show about doing the right thing, yeah. period. You know, right? You know, like, politics aside, mm -hmm. so, so, you know, self-service aside, sometimes you just need to do the right thing. And that's honestly... I don't want to be cheesy, but that's kind of the show we need right now, I feel like, you know? <laughs> well, sure, that's that's why the show works, right? Yeah, that's why it's it's like, it'll be around forever, because, you know, when you're lacking hope, start on the West Wing. You know? <laughs> right. It's like the, the world we, we've lived in from 2016 on, it's kind of like, what would it be like if we had a presidential administration that just wanted to make the the, the world and the country a better place? Really? And crazy talk. And even when this was airing, right. obviously, very dark times. You know? Yeah, no, right. This is definitely an idealized show, for sure. And I feel like that a lot of folks tuned into this show because that this is what they were starving for. You right. Know? Everybody knew that there's something bad happening. <laughs> and we don't really have that right now, you know? In, in terms of television and, and, and movies, uh, it's in the public no, I feel like. Thank God this is still around. But Yeah. No, I feel like the, one of the reasons that this show is so rewatchable and why it still has such a large audience is precisely because it's timeless. We're, we're in such cynical times right now, and yeah. that includes our art that... that uh, yeah. But the, 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 this, you know, what was the Oscar year that like Minari and Nomadland? 2020. 2020. Yeah. We were in, you know, everyone's in, it was lockdown year. Yeah. Everything's depressing anyway. And there were like nine Best Picture nominees that year yeah. that were all depressing. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, my, really... my God, like the happiest movie that was nominated that year was Trial of the Chicago 7. Yeah. Oh, is that also, also Sorkin? Sorkin? Yeah. And it was like, that one had a few laughs in it. And and, and even that isn't yeah. a happy film. At least it ended hopeful. <laughs> yeah, you know right. I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's history. Right. Uh, but I feel like you're onto, you know, you're onto something with that. <laughs> because even the last three years, I feel like for the most part, They've been kind of bummer movies. Well, yeah, I mean that's that's artistic everything everywhere we are. all at once aside. And Love that movie. Oppenheimer, even Oppenheimer winning last night. It's like it's a pretty dark movie. It's, a pretty dark, <laughs> it's, movie. it's dark, yeah. So I mean, yeah, this this show is is really still great simply because there there is a version of people, including people in power and people in leadership, that could actually just do the right thing. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you know, and that real. that last episode with the kid with the congenitive heart failure that needed yeah. the heart and lung transplant, and even though it was going to be kind of political slaughter, right, to, to sure. help him out, yeah. you still do it because it's a 15-year-old kid. Yeah. You know, and that was it. There, there wasn't there wasn't a debate about whether or not they should do it. Yeah. It was like, well, what's the fallout going to be from doing this because we're doing it, you know, and that's it. Help the help your fellow man. <laughs> right. Like, like, like even the doctor had a really good reason not to want to do it. Did it? Don't care. Where don't you're care. From in the world. I don't. Do care. not. Don't care what your human beings. <laughs> right. Don't. <laughs> don't care what your personal feelings are or what your grudge is. And he had a legitimate, really strong grudge uh, against yeah. ag against no, the, yeah. the, the the kid's father. But it's still a kid. You know. Yeah. I I, I love that episode. I loved how it went. I loved Abby her role in it. Yeah. Uh, as far as like, you know, jail, treason, whatever. You do it. You're a doctor. Yeah, it's like, that's the first episode post-election, and we're off to a great start. So Perfect, it's like, where right. are we going to go after that? Yeah, it's going to be an interesting show going forward because it's like, well, now that big hump that we've been building towards for over a season. A long time. We, we, yeah, we've, we've kind of cleared, and now it's kind of like open t territory. Yeah. I still think we're going to deal, I don't know how largely, but I think uh, obviously Sam leaving the show, that the, yeah. the, the special election, and Andy's pregnancy I think is going to be a big thing. On that note, that's funny. So Josh Molina is obviously coming right. in. Sure. Somebody on uh, Patreon told us Josh Molina's Twitter bio for the longest time said, uh, I ruined the West Wing. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. All right, guys, we do want to go ahead and welcome Aubrey, uh, Zarin Ewing, Kinjo19, Stack Pack, and Jasmine Rain to our Patreon group. Thanks so much, guys. We're glad you're here with yes, us. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching us on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Uh, if you'd like the like button for us, leave us a comment down below, and please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've come your way. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page. On all shows, including The West Wing, we're at least four episodes ahead on Patreon of where we are on YouTube. So if you get done watching this on YouTube and want to keep going, that's the place to do it. You will absolutely have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service on Patreon. You will only see and hear us for copyright purposes. Yes. Uh, it's the law. We're also watching 30 Rock right now as a Patreon exclusive. We just wrapped up Shit's Creek recently and have started Dairy Girls. So a lot of fun going on over there. Yeah. Perfect radar. It's like an action movie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Sounds like something you should have sequels. Yeah. It's like Steven Seagal's episode. Arctic Radar 6. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
a navy pilot lieutenant commander vicky hilton has been taken under arrest by the military police is being charged by the judge advocate with having an affair with it yeah it's a bit strange order somebody not to fraternize with somebody else specifically uh, maybe i don't know it seems extreme that this was the most stable cabinet since hoover's which is nice, but you got to think how many other jobs were really available by seven o'clock. Well, I'm I'm guessing you have to be re nominated for the new administration. Makes sense. Yeah, after the inauguration, In I terms guess of the military situation, which I'm assuming is going to carry through the whole episode. Yeah, this is going to be a thing for sure. She should definitely lawyer up. You know, um, I, I, that is interesting though. I, I, if it's a direct order, you, you have you you don't have the where does their authority end, though? You know what I mean? That's the real... I don't know. From what I... I mean, I was in the military, <laughs> um, but obviously I never had it deal, sure. with, dealt with any issue like this. Sure. Um, I was in the Army Reserves when I was in college. I um, went to boot camp and everything. Mm -hmm. um, AIT, but you're supposed to follow an order. I, I mean, I, I, she can technically be in trouble for not following an order, kind of whatever it is. Gotcha. Gotcha, yeah. They own your butt there for a while. Yeah. In a two-term presidency, as a matter of courtesy, the president's cabinet resigns without being asked, giving the president the option of hiring them or not. Yeah, that makes sense. What's wrong? The seats. What happened? Sorry, I forgot. I moved the news magazines to the fourth row. Mitch, I put you in the very first row I don't care about. Of the things I don't care about, yeah, I put you yeah. right up front. She was being nice at first, Mitch. Yeah. yeah. That seemed petty. Yeah. yeah. And he's got to go door to door. He hasn't lived there since he was 18. He knows. Speaking of which, high school Looks snapshot. Like he knows. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to see any of his campaign. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. You've logged a lot of miles in the last Man, couple weeks. Well, yeah, I had to go actually, get yeah. nominated yeah. and then set up the office. There's no way I'm going to be able to help with this, which is worse for me than it is for you, but there's never going to be the time. I wasn't counting on it. Well, he's got to write an inaugural address. Yeah. It's a pretty big job to do by yourself. <laughs> Will's you not a writer. Remember, remember the local AFL. Yeah. He's got talent. I'm sure he can do it. Yeah. I wonder if that's how he comes right here. Sam's like, oh, no, that, that's a good, that's probably yeah. good, but yeah. Put the banner back. I'll see you next week. <laughs> One of them is wearing a, a, uh, a Star Trek pin. You know, people walk through here and it's not the most confidence-inspiring sight to see in a White House employee, so if you could ask her to... It's a her. Nancy McNally has a new military aide named Jack Reese, and we've talked a few times, and I want you to ask him if he likes him. Okay, so Christian Slater's gonna be back, yeah. yeah. Our camp pots, and Ralph and I are double dating with the Jabrowski twins. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Hey, she's gonna point with you right after senior staff. It's about Vicki Hilton. And I'm here in no sense. official yeah. capacity, and I'm wielding nothing. Nice. There's no way the White House is going to get involved in it. It's a military thing. And he says, no, I got a problem with women. Except that my friends and I can give him a problem with women right now. Yeah, they can. <laughs> I met her last night. Funny. This is a special girl. I want to speak up for her. If she goes to prison over this, this will be infuriating. Yeah. By the way, I like that Mary Louise Parker is like basically a staple of the show now. She's, she's been in many, many episodes. A lot more than I thought she was going to be, too. honestly. Yeah. I thought after season three, she was yeah. going to be gone. Where are you going? What did you finally settle on? Nice. Excellent. Nice. I like to stay yeah. at the hotel Beau Rivage. <laughs> Tony Ziegler needs your help on a speech he's writing for the president. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. An OEOB full of speech writers. When is the president giving the speech? January 20th. Yep, that's the inauguration speech. Yeah. Meet with Toby? Yeah. I'll set up the appointment. I'll change my flight. Give this to Toby Ziegler when you get there, okay? Yeah. Right. I like Will. Do you think we're going to see whatever that note was? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You made a unilateral decision. Well, it's my house, Mitch, but as a matter of fact, I consulted with the White House Correspondents Association. Yeah, you can just be removed from there. You don't have to Right, there. yeah. They can revoke your credentials yeah. if they want to. Star Trek and the entire Starfleet <laughs> series is about honor and loyalty and civic duty, and the fact that you don't think that those are characteristics that should be displayed inside the White House is sad. I eat at him all day. It's, yeah, yeah. He's gonna go home and watch the entire first season. <laughs> See what I mean? What? She is well, one of the special people. Yeah. I mean, she's a nerd, but they're being kind of mean about her. Yeah. Kind of gross. Donna being like, it's a her. Like yeah. that's that's messed up. She isn't just any pilot. 
She's like Jackie Robinson. She's busted a lot of barriers. She's the first woman at Miramar. But could you tell me more about Jackie Robinson and breaking barriers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was kind of thinking that too like, a little well, bit. Yeah. Leo did one of those once to a black guy yep. that didn't go well. Yep. I feel like I have to go to Leo. Good. That's the way it's supposed to work. Yeah. All right. Well, I like that there is some respect there. Yeah. There was. Yeah. There, there, there are different sides on this, but they're yeah. not fighting. It's, about it's it. not an, it's it's not not an emotional thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you uh, want a job on the speech writing staff? I'm sorry? You want a job on the speech writing staff? No. Sam's doing a little matchmaking. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, well, he knows the flames. Yeah, I see the smoke there. Yeah. I read the Stanford Club speech. I thought it was good. Not as good as other people thought it was. Yeah. Maybe he thought that your speeches were obscurantist policy tracks lost in a cul-de-sac of their own internal self-righteousness and groaning from the weight of statistics. <laughs> that nice. Toby at all. <laughs> Fun show it to me. Foreign diplomats will park anywhere they want and they get tickets. And? Don't pay them. I've got to keep the knucklehead <laughs> stuff off his desk and this is worse. This is actually <laughs> hot button knucklehead. This could be a thing. That's true. Charlie shouldn't have that kind of power. <laughs> Guys who can write entire sections of, of a State of the Union, I'd be as surprised if there were as many as nine of us. Sam was one of them. What do you think about Vicki Hilton? The president's going to have to do something. Yeah, address it. I, I think Toby's answer was perfect, honestly. Yeah. Can you fly an airplane? Nope. All right, well, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Is anything wrong? You've met my assistant, Donna. Yeah, she was standing outside when I went to vote. She wanted to trade with a Richie voter bag. That was not at all what he was supposed to do. He just made her look crazy. Because he's yeah. going to think yeah. I'm flaky. Maybe, but he's not going to care. Why? Guys will go out with anybody. <laughs> Josh saw me yesterday about Vicki Holton. You think we should get involved? No. Oh, I'm just saying there are a few sides to this. That's for sure. You've just heard mine. Is this going to be one of these things they punt on and don't actually do anything about it, it sounds I like? not. But most likely, though. Right. Like, they did remember. It kind of reminds me of the the execution episode where he didn't interfere with the guy being yeah. put to death yep when you're not here there'll be a sign on your chair with your name and the name of your publication this should be about other people don't you think as a matter of fact i do <laughs> i'm just kidding i wonder why he's not in the show timothy busfield's a busy guy i guess so i, I named some things that tickled me I, I don't know. I, I certainly wouldn't want to leave you with the impression that she was... I have an aide who, in my life, I haven't talked about as much as you've talked about Donna and our entire relationship, yours and mine. Are we to live with the assumption that there are no men in the services who've committed adultery? Yes. I don't know what's right. worse, being stupid or pretending to be stupid. Oh, well. All right. He's fired up about this. Yeah, okay. And it's true. There's, there is a level of hypocrisy to it. Sure. Eisenhower and Kay Summersby, a subordinate, Hammond with the wives of two junior officers. I think that I think there is absolutely a sexism angle to it. Absolutely. Nobody ordered Eisenhower to stop seeing Summersby. That's right, because men don't give that order to other men. I told him to pass block on the call. Why? Parking tickets. He's already in the mood. There are big signs. You can't park there. They should get towed. I don't think I ever want to hear it's too sticky for the Oval Office. I like that. That's good. Are we together on this? Do we have resolve? We've got four years, no election, and a Republican Congress that hates me. I kind of like the fact that this is a good kickoff for the second administration. Last term. Yeah. This is it, man. Those stories would make me like you. You like everybody. Is Josh getting a little bit of a crush on Donna? Because I hope they're not going that way. It'd be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm not obsessed. I'm just a fan, and I care. Well, she works in a corner. Why don't wear the pen? Yeah, oh, yeah I, that's I, not I, being a fan. Mage well. That's having a fetish. And I don't have a problem with that, except you can't bring your hobbies into work. People, Let her people, enjoy what she wants to enjoy. Well, that, that that's a sentiment that's new. It is new, I guess. This office probably smells that's like a crime scene. Yeah. This is incredibly good. Well, I'm the president's voice, and I don't want it to sound like this. I really thought I was on my way to being one of those guys. You are one of those guys. I'm getting on a plane tonight and going to a place in Nice, and I'm going to stay there for a few weeks. Sam wanted me to give you this. Yeah, the note. Yeah. Oh, oh there it is. Yep. 
Chris, you are doing the direct swap out. You really are. I didn't expect it to Unless be Unless you want to start now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's very Sam of him to say that. Yeah, so Sam, or Will's going to cancel his uh his, his vacation and, and go ahead and get started. I did too. Uh, I, I really did like that episode. You know, it, it's fun because this episode was episode 10. Yeah. And it really felt like the beginning of a season, didn't it? It did, didn't it? We've gotten through the election. I The, the structure of the show this season and last season is different than I thought it was going to be. Mm. I thought we'd end last season, right, with the election, sure. start the new season, with new yeah. administration. Um, but we didn't do that. We did, we did it several episodes where we you know did the debates and did the election. Yeah. Uh, did the election parties, right? And we're getting ready now for the, for the inauguration um, in this episode. And you're right. This was a kickoff episode, right? That that last conversation Very between much. the president and and Leo was, okay, let's stop. We've won. We're not running for anything anymore. Yeah. Let's really focus on what we want to get done in the second term. Yeah. I yeah. That's what I'm looking for in the show this this time around, right? Yeah. Because we spent the first half of the show, you know. Not focused on re-election, right? But it's always been there. Yeah, it's, it's like in, yeah, there. it's hanging in the corner. Sure. I mean, in in you know, they were talking about re-election in season one. You yeah. know, like you 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 know when they're the let Bartlett be Bartlett sure. or conversation. Mm-hmm. It, you know, that was a lot of like you know you're 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 leading like somebody who's scared that they're going to lose the next next election. Yeah. Um. And so yeah, that's been that's been hanging over the show forever. And now there's going to be a a transition into a different kind of show because that's not there anymore. Yeah, you've got midterms coming up, you know, in two years for for Congress. You know, a lot of you know the House and a lot of senators are going to be up for re-election and that kind of dictates what a, a lot of your agenda. But for the most part, Bartlett has no more elections to run yeah, for. It, it really reminded me of um after the election, the the Redford movie, the candidate. Right. When he's like, well, now what? Now what? Yeah. You know, and that's kind of like where I was at with the show. It's like, sure. well now what? You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I, I like that it's fresh now. It honestly feels like there is new blood in this. I don't want to be punny because that's the last book, some of the last dialogue in this episode was you have new blood in you, you know. Right. Um, but I, I do want to see the the fresh take now. Yeah. Got Josh Molina on the show now. Sam is on his way out. This is the last turn. Or, you know, last his last stretch. He's in the home right. stretch now. What what are they gonna get done? What are they gonna accomplish? What are the obstacles we're gonna see this season? Are they gonna be the best they can be? I'm sure they're going to make, you know, th- th- I'm sure they're going to fail here and there and sure. try to be perfect, but that's interesting to me. Right. And, and the, the stakes are high, but at the same time, they're they're so low, you know what I mean? So low as far as re-election, but yeah. there's, there's going to be an, a new election, right? Of course. Of uh, course. With new people. With new people running. We don't know who, who or what that's going to look like. And... You know, there's going to be. I'm I'm assuming we're going to have scandals moving forward, just like we did. You know, the first time through, there's yeah. going to be major issues that come up. Um, yeah, I mean, there there's a lot of unexplored, unmined territory still mm-hmm. in a presidential a presidential administration that they're not done with. You know, we'll we'll, no. we'll see. I'm not, I'm not sure what that's going to look like. Um, again, I I think that the I know it's not going. I don't think it's be a huge thing, but I feel like the Andy being pregnant is not a thing we're going to get away from. Nope. I feel like we're going to deal with um, finding out Kumar finding out about the assassination, mm. right? Um, that's yeah. That's not that's not a thing that's done. Um, you're going to have fights over who the next candidates are going to be. And there's going to be any number of issues that, that that come up. You know? Yeah, I forgot about the Kumar situation because right. we've been we got away from it for it right quite a bit. Uh, as far as like scandals surrounding the president go. I hope we don't spend too much time on it because I sure. feel like we've spent a lot of the show right. revolved around that. Um, it's still interesting, obviously. You know, yeah. I, I'll, I'll take anything the show gives me, uh, but I want to see more. I want to see it going in new directions, you know? right. and I think it is. I really do. Um, it has to, right? It has to. You know? There's my structure. It's got to take yeah. some, to some some new unexplored territory. Yeah, gonna miss Sam on the show though. I am too. Like and him cleaning out his office. I was like, right. Dang it. Yeah, it's like this, this is, is real. <laughs> yeah, there it's, it's it's happening here. Yeah. I don't know how much we're gonna see him moving forward this season. Sure. I'm assuming in five, six, seven, we never see him. I think yeah. he's just gonna be off the show after this season. But nice they're kind of phasing him out somehow. It'd be nice if he shows up as like, in a cameo down the road or something. You know, sure. we'll see. You know, right. um, <laughs> in terms of. Uh, Lost my train of thought. Sorry. In, in terms of the 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 Star Trek 
bit on the show. Yeah, that didn't age well, in my personal opinion. No, they were they were really mean about it at first. I, I liked their moment they had at the end of the episode. You know? I'm talking the last sentence, though. I'm talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's it. When when Josh accused her of being a fetishist for being for wearing a Star Trek pin, it was like, come on, dude. Let people. You know, the, the idea of let people like things is fairly new, right? What is the difference of her? What's the difference between her wearing a Star Trek pin and Sam having a Lakers banner in her? I say nothing. No, you know, yeah, exactly. I don't think, other than the fact that Sam's, you can say Sam's office is more private. People can walk past hers. Fine. But more important people go in to see Sam got a window. Than, sit, than sit down at her. Sure. Well, it's not the window. It's the people that he has meetings with. Exactly. Yeah, you know, there are important people. Congressmen are in that office well, I'm all saying the time. In terms of like, the windows are open. It's clearly right there. You right. I mean, like anybody can see it. Like you say, congressmen can see it. It's it, anyone. Anyone can see it. I, I don't see the difference other than the fact that uh, Josh thinks it's nerdy, and I think that was the only difference. There's a stigma, right? You know, and I, yeah. And, he, and and when he did the whole like mocking her for the well on the weekends when you're having these conversations, I'm like, what does that matter to anything? You know, Th- that makes you a fetishist for like. Anthony. I don't know. This kind of felt like Sorkin taking a shot at you know saw a Star Trek convention was happening in town and took a shot at it. Is all. I, I don't. I don't really see the, a, a positive point to what happened there. I get what he's saying. I get it. I just don't agree with it. You know what I mean? I don't even really get it. Honestly, you're you're, you're doing better than me because I was like, so what? You want to be professional, sure. But at the same time, how is that unprofessional? She's That's what I'm saying. I don't. She's not wasting her time at the office talking about Star Trek. She's just wearing a pin. You know? Right. It, yeah. I don't feel like there's anything unprofessional about. Not exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Especially when he's like, he's telling her, you need to be a professional at work while he's helping his assistant yeah. hook up with another guy yeah. at work. I'm like, who's being more unprofessional here? Exactly. She's minding her own business. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? yeah, and, and, and like, and you said it too, like when Donna's like, it's a woman. And it's like, that was come crazy. on, man. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, I think his words would ring true if she was not Being doing a problem. her job. Right, yeah, right. But that's not the case here. If she was hanging up sign-up sheets to go to Star Trek conventions at work or something, okay, I get it. But she's wearing a pin, man. That's and right. that, yeah, that that was a, that was an Aaron Sorkin throwing a slap at people for a reason I don't really get. Maybe I'm reading it wrong, but that that just felt unnecessarily mean. Yeah, and I, I get it. We're we're looking at this through 2024 eyes, where we we have, as a culture have kind of realized like, sure. hey. People like things. They may not be my thing. That's sure. their thing. If they're liking them and not harming anybody, like it. Who cares? And also, nerd culture blew up. Yeah, nerd, nerd, yes. yes. Yeah. Right. Nerd, th- this, is, this is pre before we realized that, that nerd culture is just fine. So sure. I understand. But regardless of nerd culture changing, that was still just a shot at nerd culture. I mean, even as a kid, I had, I had the same mindset. Like, I liked Star Wars growing up. My friends, really, I liked sports too, but like my friends were big Chiefs fan. They right. Could, like, at least all the, all the all the names of the Chiefs on the team. And I'm thinking to myself, what's the difference? You know what I mean? It's You're not. wearing a Chiefs shirt. I'm wearing right. a Star Wars shirt. There's it's no difference. It's the same thing. It is. You know? Completely. One is fiction, obviously, but like, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, matter. You're it's, a fan. You're right. Exactly. It's a, it's a hobby. They're yeah. both hobbies. Have your hobbies. You like and, what you like. And I also, before we, before we wrap up here, I am really glad that we didn't just drop the the vicky hilton thing yeah that it's like we're at least going to have these conversations we're not going to hide from the issue i don't know that you know they didn't say how that's going to go for her or how it's going to resolve itself and i get both sides of the argument so that's probably completely fair why but i'm really glad it's just not one of those oh this is too hot for us let's just let's just let something happen that i don't really think should happen my personal feelings on it aside at least they're going to talk about it infidelity is one thing um but you know, I mean, she is capable at her job. She's, I like, I think what Toby summed it up, right? We've invested right. all this money in her for national security. She's good at her job. Let her do her job. Well, and this, and I think Bartlett's the one who got it and right yeah, too. He, when he yeah, was like, really hammered it home. Isn't it interesting that men don't get that order, but women do? Yeah. Nobody ordered the married guy to stop no. to to stop dating his boss. She got the order to stop. Yeah, like um, it's a one way street. It's not right, you know, and, and and so there was there, there was only. The risk of consequences for her and not him. Yeah, and, and, and it's gross. It is and, gross, and, and, yeah. I, and I don't care. You know, there should be a discussion of of, of should that order have happened. I, I think so. Like, can't, should you have done that at all? It's 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 it's, it's funny how it's debatable when it really should be. <laughs> right. I mean, Leo did call us like you know. It creates complications of like, am I sending you into combat because yes, uh, be, you know, or not because of, you know there there are there are complications with it. Again, it's it, there's not a cut and dry thing. I would certainly like to see her not get punished for something like this. Um, she shouldn't be um, it, um, dishonorably discharged. Yeah, thank you. Uh, transfer. 
Transfer. Transfer away from the guy. There you go. You're, you're, guess what? You're going to be on the other coast now. That way it's not without consequence. Right. Nobody's reputation is you can, scathed. You, you, know can even like, bump, you can even bump her down in pay grade in a rank if you want. Now, if, I, don't, I don't know if it's that easy, but, you know, that seems to be – that would solve the well, issue. Well, the U.S. military is everywhere in the world. I feel like there's a way to – There you go. Yeah. There, there has wor- to be something else besides dishonorable. There's, there, there's a workaround besides court martial. But, yeah. you know, again, I, I don't – I would say we're probably not going to get back into that story. This felt like a one-off. Like, we'll have yeah. the talk. And maybe, but I felt like that this was just like... They might. I mean, Amy, they introduced Amy's character right. in this episode dealing sure. with it. They could. See her again. They could. But it just felt to me like the reason that, always that thing was there was to be like, we're not going to run from issues. We're going to deal with issues. You yeah. know what I mean? So we're going to have the talk. Unless that becomes the next scandal in the show. Who knows? I, w- I wouldn't mind it being revisited um, and see it's how they're worth talking about. And see how they resolve it, right? Yeah. All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.